It's your boy Diddy Knows Ball back with another video. Today, I'm looking at the 2021 NBA draft class because it's time for the year three leap. It's really a weird draft class, bro. Because, you know, K went number one. People was trying to say Jalen Green probably could have went number one. And then some people had Evan Mobley. And then people were saying Jalen Suggs was supposed to be clear number four. But they ended up going Scotty Barnes. Scotty Barnes ended up winning rookie of the year. It was weird. The Golden State Warriors picked Jonathan Kaminga over Franz Wagner. Man, Golden State Warriors really be doing some dumb stuff in the draft. Nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about it. They took James Wiseman over LaMelo. They took Pozemski over Cam Whitmore. But it is what it is. I thought they should have got Franz Wagner instead of Jonathan Kaminga. But, so, Scotty Barnes won rookie of the year. In year two, we didn't see the progression that we wanted from Jalen Green and Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley on defense, but as a scorer, he kind of looked the same. K. Cunningham, of course, he got hurt and he was out. I feel like Franz Wagner really low-key had the best second year. Scotty Barnes, rookie of the year, but his second year, he's pretty much the same guy. I thought Franz Wagner had the best second year, bro. And honestly, I think Franz Wagner the best player from this draft class. There, I said it. I think Franz Wagner in year three will establish himself as the best player from this draft class. The best player. Jalen Green might end up being the best offensive player. Evan Mobley might end up being the best defensive player. I see K Cunningham. I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not high on K Cunningham. And it's not just that. Five for 15 performance in the preseason against the Suns. It's not just that. I just don't think K. Cunningham is the best player in this draft class. If I were redraft, I think I'm going Franz Wagner number one. I'm going Franz Wagner number one. And I said to say this, Franz Wagner, he's done played in pretty much over 70 games every year. Um, he's got better as a scorer, passer, rebounder every year. All his stats go up. Field goal percentages are good. I just think he's overall the best player from this draft class, bro. He's the best player from this draft class. I'm looking at everything. I really do think so. Then I don't know, bro. If I had to redraft this draft class right now, I think I'm going Franz Wagner, Evan Mobley, Jalen Green, Josh Giddy, Scotty Barnes. K. Cunningham. I think I'll do it something like that, bro. I think I'll do it something like that. I, I, man, I don't even think K. is. I don't know. I gotta see it, bro. K. Got to show and prove, bro. I'm tired of just giving K. This, giving K. That, and just it's like he's been granted immunity. I ain't never seen a number one overall pick get treated like K. Cunningham, especially with the numbers he done. Man, his numbers is not that good, bro. His numbers are not that good, dog. I'm trying to, yeah, no. I can't get there with Cade, bro. Because he only played 12 games his sophomore season. But his field goal percentage was 41%. Three-point percentage was 28%. His rookie season, he was 41%. 31% from three. Like, no, nah, I can't get there with Cade, bro. He's big, but he's slow. I can't get there with Cade. I think K probably be the fourth or fifth best player from this class, man. We go keep it a buck. I think Detroit the worst team in the league. I think the Orlando Magic go at least sneak into the play in. I do think the Orlando Magic go sneak into the play in. I think he's gonna have the worst team out of all these dudes, especially the ones that went in the top five, top ten. Yeah, yeah. I think Zaire is an absolute oof. Looking at him at at 10, Zaire, nah, man. But yeah, bro, I think I think Josh, I think Josh Giddy, Franz Wagner are the best two overall players. I think Franz Wagner is the absolute best player in this class. I think Jalen Green will be the best scorer. Evan Mobley, best defensive player. K Cunningham probably gonna be the most disappointing. K Cunningham might be the most disappointing player in this top 10. Well, outside of Zaire and Davion Mitchell, but Davion Mitchell. Oh, Jonathan Kaminga, too. This draft class really wasn't as good as, as people thought it was going to be, bro. 
We'll see in year three, but I'm not going to lie. I think Franz Wagner is the best player from this class. I think it's damn near clear cut at this point. I'm not saying he's a better scorer than Jalen Green. I'm not saying he's a better defensive player than Evan Mobley, but I'm saying he's an overall better player. So I'm picking Franz Wagner to be the best player from the 2021 NBA draft and have the biggest year three leap. I'm predicting who to 23 points, six rebounds, five assists. 22 to 23 points, six rebounds, five assists. So, yeah, man, let me know in the comments what y'all think. Who's going to who's gonna have the biggest year three leap? All right, man. I'm looking at the man, he do, man. Sin Goon. Maybe Sin Goon could do something. Trey Murphy, wish him a speedy recovery. <laughs> Kyle Jones. Man, I'm praying for that dude's mental health, bro. I like Jalen Johnson. He started the first preseason game for Atlanta. Uh, but yeah, man. Ah, 2021 draft looking. That class looking kind of weak, bro. Let me know in the comments what y'all feel like if the 2021 draft class weak. Because it look weak now. Now I'm looking at this shit, man. Franz Wagner, best player for this class, man. If you disagree, let me know in the comments who you think the best player in 2021 draft class. Who you think will have the biggest year three leap? Just let me know how y'all feel in the comments, man. It's your boy, Dean Knows Ball. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.